Hey everybody, and welcome to the next map that I'm going to play, which is Darda Beach. And this is actually one of the first, if not the first, uh, campaign type of maps that I will do on the Battlefront Max channel. Republic can't spare any more reinforcements. Yet it is not exactly a uh, campaign mission to where you get assigned uh, or an assignment every time you complete an objective. You can clearly see that there is the gate that we need to... Uh, destroy over there, but once that is destroyed, we don't actually get a new assignment. It just, you know, continues. So it is a campaign type of map, but it also plays more as a regular conquest. So you can clearly see that this goes for a D-Day type of environment. Very pleasant to look at. It's very bright, yet it is a cold climate. There's snow, there's things going on in the sky. Very polished. A lot of objects and props are used. Super cool, the AI is also doing things, that walker is stuck though, but besides that, all of the walkers and units are doing something. I'm actually gonna take over this ATRT right here. There we go, get a bit of a better look at it. You can actually see that the AI is also doing a great job of attacking the gate itself. There's a few objects here and there that they get stuck on, but... You actually saw my uh, unit stuck on the uh, ground object there as well. I'm actually stuck again, but nothing too bad. One thing that is interesting to look at, and I'm not actually doing anything about that gate because the AI is doing it, is to see... Look at that. So this is actually, again, a combination of campaign or objective-based gameplay and a regular... Uh, conquest mode because you can just go ahead and capture this here. Ooh, what we got here? Ooh, look at that! Very cool clone commando type unit. Ah, this is just such a great map, people. This is already a must download. And it's a very simple prom uh, premise, but the execution very well done. This is like more beautiful and chaotic feeling than some of the chic maps we've seen and this is a perfect example of a map that does scaling very well so the map itself is actually relatively small right it's even got this kind of like canyon feeling but because of that you don't need you know a, ho a whole huge number of units to make it feel chaotic Wherever you watch, there's clones, there's CIS droids, and it just feels epic because there's stuff going on all the time. Let's actually now get into that hardened fire at this gate. It's almost destroyed, as you can see. There we go. The CIS perimeter has been breached, it says at the top. And this is exactly what I was talking about. So now, our objective is to grab those two command posts. But it was not like most campaign maps where it pauses for a moment and we get a bunch of text. I will also be starting to do uh, more... Oh god. More campaign missions. On the channel. I, act I actually really love campaign missions for Battlefront 2. It really makes it a focused experience and can really highlight some of the uh, the better points or details that are found in some maps. I'm actually going to lose control of my unit here in a bit. Can I get into this? doesn't do as much damage as I wanted to. Ooh, that did good damage though. Again, very fun to play. A little easy. 
We've seen some campaigns out there that can be quite challenging. As they don't give you a whole lot of reinforcements, for example. Again, very well playable with AI. Our clone troopers are heading through the gate. Shooting at the droids. Just overall very, very fun. And very much to my kind of playstyle. Again, I love D-Day uh, style maps and missions. Not too long ago, we actually did the map called D-Day. Uh, which was not that good. Mm, it was it wasn't very polished. I mean, I would I mean, Designated Days is an amazing series. Shout out to the creators. They also uh, reached out to me on Twitter the other day to let me know that they Designated Days got uh, updated. So I cannot wait to try some of those newer made uh, missions. But I would even say that this mission is my is a. Uh, more polished than uh, some of them, but again, it's because this is very, uh, very small in skill compared to Designated Days, of course. Like, I think map creators should look at this map, and again, uh, the scale tells you something about... We have seen maps where... Uh, what do we do? A uh, regular one. Where maps were either too big to support the number of units that come with the battle or uh, too small uh, which is pretty rare but it also happens when it is too small oh my god is that Grievous with two red lightsabers? crazy oh there we go and this is just optimal in terms of uh, units and size Absolutely optimal. Like, there's a lot going on. And it feels chaotic. But it doesn't feel... Uh, chaotic to the point of insanity. Like, I have good control and whereabouts of what is happening. Oh, here comes some clone reinforcements. Come on. We gotta capture this. We actually lost the other one, Hope. There we go. Of course, if any of you know any good campaign maps for uh, Battlefront 2, let me know also. There's not that many, but you'd be surprised at some of the really cool ones out there. There we go. Now we've got a time, uh, time limit. Capture the CIS bunker. Last one there. We have to do it within five minutes. Ugh, there we go. Lost my unit there. Alright, so now all the... Ooh, look at that. Very cool skin. Now all the units will ascend on the bunker there. Gonna be a little bit alone here. Most are still fighting there. It's not a whole lot of vehicles coming through, though. Maybe they're not really able to get through the gate. I'm mostly talking about the ATTEs. Ooh, what do we got here? Hmm. Oh, jeez. Well, okay. Th hmm. That could have maybe done a little bit better. Uh, and I'm mostly talking about how... Oh, jeez. Oh, no, wait. Here we go. Here we go. Now we got clones coming in. I was about to say, if more of the enemies had spread through the, um, the hallways, it would have been cooler and almost like an ego shooter, you know, like um, Jedi Knight. But they're all clumped together in the opening. Oh, look, the hero unit is with us as well. But now, this is cool. Now we're actually going in. Let's go, clones. Oh, this is going to be a slaughter. Oh, boy. 
Oh, look at that. Let's see if we can do some damage there. We got three minutes. I wonder if you could also... If going the other way would be advantageous in this case. So of course we're getting... Gotta get this bottleneck over here. Come on, clones! Forward, 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 forward! Gotta get grenades in there. Go away, Grievous. Go away! If I can just get it to be neutral, they cannot spawn. Oh, damn it. That was close, though. Very nice. I do like it. It's a bit of a difficulty spike at the end, but it's cool. Oh my god, they're pushing us back. Hold on. I'm gonna go right now. Oh, there's so many. Nope, you get... Im what can you do about that? What can you do about that? See, this would be cool for co-op, too. Die! Die, fool! Oh my goodness! I mean, that is just, you're just getting ganged up. <laughs> One minute. There's so many that actually made it outside. Actually, that's that might be a good thing. We might actually want to let them live. That way, they won't respawn there. Uh, it'll be good, but. Yes, exactly. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, there are not that many here. There are not that many here. It's white. It's white. Oh, God. We have to oh, that's clones. I shot a clone. My bad. Worst timing. Oh, my God. Yes, we're capturing it. <gasps> Come on. Oh, my God. What an awesome map. Guys, please download it. Download link will be in the description down below. Don't forget to let me know any recommendations on maps or mods you want to see in the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.